what's up guys it's RJ welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey thanks so much for stopping by I hope you like this video and if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up also if you haven't already click that red button below and hit subscribe I'm uploading new videos each and every week all right guys so liquid eyeshadows seem to be all the rage right now um, Stila has a new one um, Urban Decay has one they're everywhere they're not new but it's the hot item of the moment so um, I wanted to try one out but I didn't want to pay $24 to get one to see if I liked it so I decided to go the discount route so I headed over to shop miss a uh, now if you're familiar with that website you know that all of the makeup items on that site are generally one dollar um, but recently they kind of launched a sub brand uh, which is called AOA labs I believe and they have the a2o product line um, which is what I picked up a couple items from so not only did I get um, these two liquid eyeshadows but I, but I also picked up this um, rainbow highlighter so today I thought we would try them out see how they work and find out if they are rad or ratchet I um, I'm not super familiar with um, liquid eyeshadows to be honest with you so let's take a look and see what their uh, website says about it so it says enhance your eyes with glow liquid eyeshadows a weightless eye tint with a vibrant pearl finish available in a range of gorgeous shades to give you the perfect glow to your eyes a beautiful finish that can't be achieved with powdered eyeshadows now it does say apply eyeshadow primer first then apply glow liquid eyeshadows and blend out so originally I was just going to do one eye with and one without but since it actually recommends that you use it I guess we'll use it on both eyes um, and it says all their products are cruelty free they don't test products on animals and they are vegan and paraffin free uh, now these were only three dollars and fifty cents each um so again these aren't like one dollar items like um they previously have these items range in price um i believe the highlighter which we'll get to in just a second was like 450. i have two shades the first one is 5007 which is fume it is like a pink color and then 5011 kinetic which is a gold shade so there's both of those so here's kinetic no i'm sorry fume and let me zoom in a little bit so there's fume and here is kinetic which is the gold shade And I know these are super janky swatches, but that's what happens when you try to use the viewfinder. So that's both of those. All right, so as you can probably tell, I've already put on my primer foundation, and um, so we're ready to go. I've also got some mascara that we'll throw on after we put that eye liquid eyeshadow on. But let's start off with the eye primer. Um, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I think it's the only eyeshadow primer I actually have anyway, so put this on. Now I think I'm just gonna put this on my lid, maybe just up a little bit, so I'll just go ahead and prime the whole area. I didn't know if I wanted to add more um, eyeshadow or just test these, but I think I'm just gonna test these. I'll try both of them. All right, so let's start with Fume open it up I like the packaging it's like a little glass bottle it's got their logo so it's similar to what you would see with lip gloss a doe foot applicator um, and it didn't say anything about using a brush so I'm just gonna use this directly onto my eye Let me move my mirror a little closer and we'll see how this goes I don't know how quickly these dry down, what kind of time we have to work with it. Actually, I maybe just need a second dip because the first side, and I'll zoom you in a second. Actually, let me see. All right, <laughs> it's 
So that's fume on the inner corner. And let's use, what is it? Kinetic on the outer. I almost feel like this needs like two coats. Like it's not as, I've seen some people put on like the Stila and some of those look like super pigmented. I feel like this, almost like I needed um, something under it or with it. I don't know if these are gonna work as good on their own, but that's what we're testing today. So that's how we're gonna try it. I feel like my eyelid just looks shiny. Is let this kind of set. Let's try out our highlighter and then maybe try going on top with a second coat to see if we can build it up and make it slightly more pigmented. Sounds like a plan. All right, so next up is the highlighter. And I did a swatch on Instagram with this one as well, but let's do one right now for all you guys watching. Um, I didn't think about trying <laughs> until I just now did this. Um, I just basically did a back and forth, which probably wasn't the best thing to do. So this is all the colors mixed when you just do a swipe back and forth and then I'm going to take my finger and do one swipe across like this and see if it picks up um, so you do get some of the individual colors in this but it is very similar to this one right here all right, and from the website, this is the Spectrum Highlighter in Rainbow Flash. It says a light and airy highlighting powder with a highly concentrated formula and illuminating pigments. Great for perfect glow. It says you can use a small fan brush to pick up one color at a time, or you can use a blush brush to swirl all the colors together. It says spray your brush with, the, um, of course, the AOA primer spray first for a vibrant color payoff. Um, so let's go grab some primer then. So it's an ultra saturated, high impact shimmering pearl powder that blends beautifully for the best highlight. And just like the other product, it's cruelty free, vegan, and paraffin free. So let's go grab a primer real quick. Um, I don't have the AOA primer, but I'm sure any primer will work. So let me grab one and I'll be right back. All right. So I grabbed my Milani setting spray, but surprisingly, I don't have a fan brush. I thought I did. Um, but I think, I think one of my dogs might have chewed on it and I threw it away and have not replaced it. So I'm just going to use the Morphe R10 brush and we're going to go in first. Um, without primer and since I feel like it wasn't a big difference between the swoops and the swirl we're gonna go swirl method so you can see some of the color there on the brush and I don't know why I started to put this on like a blush but it is a highlight so let's do that So it's not super sparkly, it doesn't look like. Shimmery, it's not very, well, I see it more here than I do in the mirror. So maybe I'm just not picking it up. So one more swirl, tap, tap. All right, so that's just the side with the brush. Now we're gonna spray a little setting spray. Going for another swirl. Doesn't look much different on the brush. Okay, so now let's try it over. Actually, I keep forgetting to zoom you guys in a little bit. So there's that side. And now we're gonna try it with a little primer, no, setting spray. I don't really think I noticed much of a difference and on either side. It seems about the same amount of glow. Now I will say that I'm really disappointed with the uh, fume color. It doesn't really even seem to be showing up. I almost feel like my eyes just look like they're really greasy. So I'm going to take some of the product and just put it directly onto a brush. 
and try going in and adding it. I don't know if that really worked any better, but that's what I'm gonna do on the other side too, and then we'll just go with it like that. The gold I can see better, but it's definitely not a blinding gold shade. All right, so let's throw on some mascara and then we'll be done. I'm just gonna use a little Better Than Sex. All right, mascara's on. Gonna go in with some setting spray. And that's it. I can already say I think I'm a little disappointed with the color payout on this product, but I'd like to see how it lasts, if it's gonna be here in another couple hours or not. So it's currently 12.10 here. I'll check back in a little bit and give you guys my final thought on these products. See you in a bit. All right, guys, it is the end of the night. It is currently 9.46, and I have to say overall, I think this liquid eyeshadow was a big disappointment. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So there was never a lot of color when we first did the application, but it has just faded into obscurity as the day has went on. I mean, you can see a little bit, but to me, honestly, it just more looks like I have greasy eyes than I'm wearing any kind of cool liquid eyeshadow. So overall, with the highlighter, it definitely lasted the whole day. Like I said, not a huge difference between the side with the setting spray versus no setting spray. The price of like $5, you know, you can't go wrong with a highlighter like that. But even though these were only $3.50, definitely don't think that they are worth it. Um, so these are going to be a pass from me. Um, would love to hear your guys' thoughts if you have used these or any of their other products to know how they have worked out for you. But that's it for this time. Once again, guys, I love making these videos. I hope you love watching them. And until next time, bye, guys.